Hi, good evening mga kadong! Welcome to my vlog! Um, time check, it's 1.30am uh, I am heading now to my room uh, It's just... I just finished my work tonight No, it's not tonight, it's morning uh, It's 1.30 in the morning And I am with my friend, my colleague, and my dong. This is dong. Uh, I just want to share with you why mga kadong, mga dong die ang um, intro ko because ito po siya. Siya po yung unang nagtatawag sa akin ng dong here in Middle East. Way back before in Bahrain, doon kami nag-work. Then, siya yung tumatawag sa akin palagi ng Dong because he is Bisaya also. Dong means a younger brother or a brother like that. So, for, to, for today's vlog, um, we will call it a, a challenge. An English only challenge. Okay, because... Um, kasi nandito po tayo sa ibang bansa so the only means of communication here because hindi naman kasi kami marunong mag Arabic so English only so we need to practice we need to practice our English skills ewan ko kung marunong ba kami or just English carabao you know are you ready for the challenge dong? Yes. Okay. The challenge starts now. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with this vlog. <laughs> it's I just want to make silent because <laughs> I am not that confident in speaking English, you know. Even <laughs> me. No, you're very fluent in English, you know, even in the store, you're very fluent in English and you're talking to our bosses in a nice way, not like me, that I really don't know. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> no, no, it's not humble. It's the reality. It's true. By the way, guys, Peter is a fluent in English. <laughs> no, I am not. Um, that is the that is the problem that I had right now because I need to take an exam. I will tell you soon about that exam, but yeah, I had a problem on that about speaking in English. Soon, soon, soon. I will tell you why it's a big problem because I am not that really confident. I am not really fluent in English. Though I can speak, but not. See? <laughs> See? Peter is fluent in English. No, I'm he not. He's lying to you guys. No, no, guys. No, mga kadong. Oh, sorry. Is it okay that no, I'm no, 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 no. <laughs> saying kadong? <laughs> English challenge. I don't know. You need to speak English. So what would be the the consequence if we were talking in Tagalog and we were speaking in Tagalog? Oh, I know. If the one who speaks in Tagalog or in our vernacular, he will be the one to cook our food. <laughs> Actually, guys, I don't cook food in our room. He's the one cooking our food every day, every night. Yeah, because but sometimes when he's doing his off, he's the one who makes our food. <laughs> no, <laughs> because that's my weakness. I don't know how to cook. I know how to cook, but not that confident. Because maybe... I'll get shy. I don't know if whatever whatever comment he had because you know cooking is not my type. But you know I'm working in the kitchen right now. <laughs> I'm working in the kitchen. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Before I was in charge in the kitchen, but now he is the in charge now. <laughs> no, because actually I don't have any experience in the kitchen, but I don't know why I accept this job. But you know, I'm lucky enough that I, I accept this job. I accept this job because after accepting this job, <laughs> the pandemic has arise and not all there were lots of people um, who lost their job so despite the pandemic we're facing our company never closed then they're still giving all the benefits that we agreed before and you know and you know Danilo he was working before in the cruise ship yeah <laughs> he was working in the cruise ship like um, actually the two of us were you know we agreed before <laughs> before that we're coming in here in this place um, <laughs> before before that um, before our contract uh, finished in Bahrain um, we agreed that we will accept an offer uh, from this company right now from this company that we are gonna work here in Saudi Arabia but <laughs> yeah there is misunderstanding in the contract no 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 I will no, tell no. them I will tell them the, st the story from the very okay. beginning the detailed story of what really happened to us so <laughs> like this um, <laughs> so we both agreed to to accept the offer so I will not tell you how much was the offer but for him he has the biggest offer <laughs> yeah ever <laughs> yeah it's like five digit right yeah even me in five digit but yours is yeah uh, above above uh, above 50 percent of 100 <laughs> I didn't know what is that yeah then that's really the offer so so we accepted the job and hey I'm catching my I'm catching my breath you know <laughs> can you please slow down then <laughs> after that when we got home in the Philippines <laughs> it's like it's like September no he went to the Philippines after our contract like first week of August then I was in the last week of August because yeah our hiring date is no it's not hiring date right? it's the, the nah, yeah 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 the flight the flight is different so after that after having a short vacation in the Philippines like I went to the Magati I went to Sikihor just for a short period of time it's like one week with my friends with the kicks gang hello mga kicks then <laughs> after that i headed to manila for the processing of our papers for saudi yeah and in the last minute this guy it's really crazy he refused he rejected the offer he did not sign the offer it's because of Yela. without my without my knowledge without my knowledge so <laughs> yeah then 
after refusing the the contract he called me um i refused the contract then me i i already committed i already committed the job the contract i i give my full trust to, to these strangers which are now my boss our boss so as a person with a principle of not breaking any trust <laughs> that is me <laughs> oh my God. so i told him why why you did did um refuse the contract and we both agreed before that we're gonna going to saudi just to have an experience what saudi is like that because there are lots of rumors that saudi is like this like that but anyways he's telling me that i was hired already in the cruise ship <laughs> so i told him you're really crazy i really hate you yeah he he left me in the air <laughs> he left me in the air so no 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 that's my side you will explain later your side then after that i don't have any choice than to <laughs> to continue to proceed the processing of my papers so yeah that's it i flew here last december 14 2019 then yeah i make myself brave enough to face this challenge to face this challenge <laughs> and after that yeah I really take risk because I I told myself that I will never know what Saudi is I will never know what their culture is that's why I take the risk so I was here like but I blocked this person I blocked this guy in all so social medias know our social media account i blocked him for like for like how many months five months no five months no yeah it's no 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 three three months yeah three months is it three months yeah it's three months so after that, I forgive him, even though he's not saying sorry. No, no, no. But I say sorry. no, no, you didn't. I did, I did, I did. But <laughs> you know, guys, you know, you know, mga <laughs> kadal. Then the pandemic arise because he he told me that he flew to europe for his joining date on the cruise ship last january something january 20 11, 11. oh january 11 sorry so after that when i called him like he's telling me i'm so sorry no no not sorry pasensya i don't know what's pasensya in <laughs> <laughs> but that's so close with sorry then <laughs> oh my god that is bad hi my story is very long uh, i almost arrived here in our room in our flat and what kind of challenge is this i am the only one talking <laughs> no 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 <laughs> okay okay this is not a challenge anymore so back to our story <laughs> back to our story <laughs> after like um calling him what is his situation in the cruise ship is telling me that maybe we'll be repatriated for because of the pandemic so he's just like working in the cruise ship for three months for three months. It was just like. <laughs> I'm 
here now in my room, in our room. So, we're here. See, too much tired, too much. Too much hungry. I'm not that hungry. I drink a lot of water. Open. No, I cannot. I cannot remove the key. Okay, so back to our story. Huh. Yeah, after a week of of having a conversation over the phone, over the messenger, he was repatriated. Yeah, but he's very lucky enough of that repatriation because you know he was um quarantined in manila for two months <laughs> with free food free everything <laughs> he's very lucky then he was sent to he was sent to what don't look at my face i'm so hard guard you know <laughs> then he was sent to his home for free also and after that before he arrived in his home he has one month quarantine again <laughs> so, yeah. yeah then to cut the story short he was like he was jobless for seven months for seven months and then he just realized that he need work he needs money because <laughs> all the savings were gone. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, but that one was a, a good, you know. Yeah, but, you know, with that seven months, he put a lot of effort to make the, the hacienda. What's, what's hacienda? Don't I don't know what's hacienda. He has hacienda in... Aklan in Aklan, then <laughs> he plants a lot of fruits, uh, fruit bearing trees, then bananas, coconuts, like that. Avocados. Avocados. Yeah, that's why he has, he has a lot of, you know, plants uh, waiting him, <laughs> waiting him in the Philippines. Then, yeah, he decided to, he, after seven months, he decided to, to call my boss that he wants the job. But unfortunately, the offer went down and it's okay. The offer today is not that bad. Yeah, it's more than enough. It's really more than enough. <laughs> Then he's very lucky because after a week, um, after a week of arrival here in Saudi Arabia, all the airports, all the the border lines were closed because of the new corona strain that was discovered in UK, and it is even stronger than the coronavirus. So he's lucky enough. <laughs> yeah, he's very lucky then and he's the one who is the reason why I I do this vlog because he really encouraged me to to do this vlog and he's telling me that we'll do our very best to to <laughs> to make this vlog a very successful one. So guys Nakakapagod pala magsasalita ng magsalita. <laughs> As in, sobrang nakakapagod pala. Hinihingal ako kanina. Well, naglalakad, nagsasalita. So, this is it. This is my room. This is our room. See? Our DIY, you know, to prevent the sunlight 
to prevent the daylight because we're sleeping in the daytime so i need to make uh, to cover our window with black plastic so that the sunlight will not get inside <laughs> i don't know so yeah this is our small room so this is it pansit yeah look at him he's very haggard also so guys please help and support thank you for your support um please hit the notification bell for for more updates in my vlog um, please do like and share if you like once again this is peter mccallus your dog in saudi arabia bye bye, bye, -bye. take care god bless much Ciao. love Something?